Alrighty guys, so this is the Power Hammer's parts at the moment. Um, you saw me drill this hole. I drilled this hole for the crank shaft and we use a piece of eighth inch brass. I drilled this hole. Um, I need to trim it down obviously, but that's what it's gonna look like. I drilled this hole here, which that fits into. Um, so once this is in here, this will fit onto here, and then it will be a working turning table or turn turnable, whatever. I don't know exactly what you'd call this. Um, crankshaft, maybe. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I drilled this hole here too small for this one on purpose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up this and then I stick this in there because this expands when it heats up. So when I stick this in the hole, it will then when it cools down contract around the steel rod, therefore causing it to get a very tight fit, sometimes tighter than even welding. Um, so that should be pretty good. So let's do that next. Okay, so I only succeeded in getting it like halfway in. So I think what I'm going to do is just fill that entire thing with weld and then sand it all down and it'll look like it's just one smooth piece of metal. Okay there. Hey, um, it has been like a week and a half since I've filmed anything on this project, maybe two weeks even. Um, yeah, I was really busy, I wasn't able to. So here, this is the spindle rod. See how it lifts that up and down. I'll zoom in on that for you. So this, I need to secure this pin here, this little brass one, inside this hole. So I need to sand that down just a tiny bit, put it in, and then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center punch in the other side to expand it so it won't come out. Um, and that should work pretty well. And then I really just need to weld everything together. I need to turn some pulleys on the wood lathe. And there's just a bunch of stuff that needs to be done. But um, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. So let's get doing it. Let's get to doing it. Let's do it. Drat. Okay, well, never mind. Well, it turns out that I hadn't welded that at all, so that just snapped off and then this got all bent when I was center punching it. So probably center punching it wasn't a good idea, so I'm going to need to re-drill this hole, get that out of here, and then re-weld it. So only a minor setback, but still it's annoying, so drag. Okay, so I've got it drilled out. Um, now I'm going to re-weld it, and I'll weld it better this time, hopefully. Okay guys, so here's where we're at right now. Um, this all fits up, twirls around, but I need ram guides so that it doesn't just, you know, flop around like that. It needs to be able to go straight up and down while this goes 
here it goes sideways. So here's my plan. I have this here, which I'll draw a top down view of what the plan is. So I have the three quarter inch um, ram, and then I have this. So what I'm going to do is cut a channel into the side that the angle iron can slide in. This is just a rough drawing. And then it's able to slide up and down. So I'll need to trim the angle iron so that it can just barely fit in that. And that will keep it up and down and from going side to side. So that is the plan. I'm gonna cut this down into the right length pieces and then it should be pretty cool. So let's do that. Okay, so I've figured out a way to cut exactly as much as I need off. I'm gonna cut off that. So by holding this little piece here, um, I think it's like a 16th of an inch-ish, I can put it like this on the bandsaw and then cut along it with the blade going inside and it will just go along without cutting that and I'll know exactly how far to go. So I'll do that. Alrighty. Look at these two perfect, almost perfect little ram guides. So now I just need to file them to make them like, actually perfect. So do that now. Okay, so I have Scribed in a line all the way down it, both sides on the same side, and I need to grind on that line so that this can fit into it and then slide up and down. So, time to do that. boat that broke. It's very powerful, so it should definitely have enough horsepower, <laughs> probably not, to drive this. And then the extra wire, because one of these goes to that, and then this goes from that. So now it's just time to do some soldering. I've never really done it before, maybe like once, I don't even remember, but here we go. Connect these and then we'll see if it works. Oh, goody, it does. Luckily, I'm 
Don't think this is enough power to kill me. Nice. I actually did something. Great. Okay, so now I've come up with a motor mounting plate. So you'll see what this is. It probably looks kind of weird now, but you see these two holes here, those will go here and then the metal plate will wrap around and then this will be bolted with these holes to the back of the power hammer. It will be on the side and then there will be a pulley driving the belt. So I'm gonna cut that out on the bandsaw now. Alrighty, so this is how it will go. The motor comes in here and the spindle comes out. Um, these are the holes that will be drilled and I have some bolts that will go and screw the plate onto the motor and then these will screw it onto the back of the power hammer. So time to drill those. So I've chosen to skip this piece and I'm gonna go for this as the base plate. It's more in shape um, than this one. It's a more like what it would actually be shaped like. I kind of just like drew that one up. And then also this one will have like exactly a quarter inch around on all edges. So I'm gonna cut out that one. Okay, so next I need to grind a 45 degree bevel on one side and then a um, like 60 degree bevel on the other side. So, time to go do that. Okay, so here's the frame and I need to drill two holes and then tap them so that I can pull this on here. Then there will be a belt going from here to a larger pulley here. And this will have a very small pulley, probably like a half an inch or maybe three quarters of an inch, so like two inches. Um, and then there will be a belt, and then there will be a tightening wheel which will push against the belt, therefore causing it to spin, therefore causing it to snap. So, then drill those holes. Okay guys, and with that, I have to call it an end to, to today's video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one, part three, which will be awesome. I'm gonna weld it all up. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.